So here uh, we have uh, two ambrotypes. This is the first one and the last one. This one you can we can see it has um, um, it has been touched up, colorized slightly, and here it has the the um, pendant or the necklace is painted with gold and also the the ring. Um, here we have a tin type with some metal support and um, an, a dagger type. And here we have a dome shaped photograph, a silver gelatin, um, triple portrait, mother and children, I guess. Um, and as you can see, it's very damaged around the edges, so it's probably in and out of the frame. Um, also some silverfish damage probably in some areas. So from a conservation point of view, what I would, uh, the treatment we would do, uh, in this case we'll repair or in-paint the areas that are um, in the portrait, uh, just very gently brush the dust off and then we'll just have it photographed because uh, for digitizing this particular type of photograph cannot be scanned in the scanner uh, and then how if it's not framed in some cases we have the frame and it goes back in the frame but when we don't have the frame then we just enclose it in a, in a box made from conservation grade materials uh, the ambrotypes and the gerotype and in, again in this particular case uh, the tin type they will all need to be photographed because they cannot go on the scanner. In some situations, the tin type is flat, it's perfectly flat and it's safe to go on the scanner. But in this particular case, it's a little bit creased. And what happens, the, the emotion, the collodion is flaking off where the creases are. So it's probably not a, not a good idea to to put it on the scanner. The leather in the joint is very fragile, it's very dry and it's very thin leather, it's um, sheep, sky, very very thin leather and it's very dry and it splits. So it's best to not be open flat or as much as possible or minimal. So this is kind of situation where you have to be very well prepared before you scan or do the digitizing or photographs.